Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 16. Oh, I'm cutting off my head. Hold on. Let me... There we go. Much better. You will be hearing noises in the background because Bear decided right now is the best time to start making noise, of course. Anywho, uh, it is almost 10 o'clock. Um, I am almost ready for the birthday slash Christmas brunch at my dad's. I don't know if you can hear all the ruckus in the background, but oh my goodness. Anyways, so uh, Marianne's going to be here in a few minutes to pick me up and then we're going to go over there. But before I go, I figured I could do my advent calendar and yeah, and then I'll come back after the party. I'm probably not going to film at my dad's. I don't want to, yeah, just don't want to. But Marianne's coming back here after the lunch, so I will be filming what we get up to at that point. After I left you last night, I worked on the muslin for the top I want to wear for Christmas Eve, and it is right here. I just have a couple of things to finish on it, and then I can try it on. It went together really quickly, especially, you know, it's a muslin, so I didn't finish my seams, and I didn't press everything all nice and everything, but... Yeah, fingers crossed, I'm gonna really like this. Um, so I wanna finish that today, try it on, and see, see how I like it with the green pants I'm gonna wear it with. And also, I'm wearing a Bella Vista top that I made probably more than two years ago now. I absolutely love this top, and I think this solidified it for me. I'm probably going to use this pattern with the blue velvet or crushed velvet. I think it's going to be really nice with the cowl. That velvet is super drapey. Yeah, and it's going to be nice and snuggly around my neck. Yes. So hopefully I can get started with that today as well. And then I'll be almost sorted for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I still have to hem those pants and I'm looking over there because they're hanging to dry over there. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get that done when Marianne is here because I can try them on and get a very accurate measurement for the hem. Yes, that's the... Oh, hold please. All right, sorry about that. That was Marianne texting me. She's swinging by Starbucks on her way here and wanted to know if I wanted a latte. And yes, I do. Okay, so let's get the advent calendars done or advent calendar because today is an even day. So we get a virtual gift with Beyond the Pink Door, which I've not looked at yet, but I will. So let's see what's behind door number 16 of our prim calendar. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful color. Look at that red. Oh, I love this. Love this. Fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to go upstairs, finish getting ready. I need to put my lipstick on and then decide what shoes, boots, whatever I'm going to wear which doesn't really matter because I'm gonna take them off at the door anyways, but you know. So yes, let's get all of that done and I will come back to you with Marianne most likely after our brunch. See you in a bit. Hello, oh, I'm, wait a minute, oh, there we go. <laughs> I am back from my dad's. Uh, we had an amazing lunch, it is now almost five o'clock. I am full. Um, yeah, it was a really, really good afternoon. Got to hang out with my kids and with my siblings and with my dad. And yeah, it was just fun. My nephews were there. And Marianne picked an order, a fabric order up for me yesterday and she brought it with her this morning. So I found... Merino wool jersey knit 
at Core Fabric, which who are in Montreal. So Marianne went and picked up my order for me. This is 1.5 yards of this charcoal gray. It looks blue on camera, but it's actually just dark gray and it is fabulous. I mean, it's not, I don't know what I thought merino wool would feel like, but it, it does feel like wool. I mean, it's wool. So it's not as soft I was as I was thinking with it would be, but this is very nice fabric. Um, it's lightweight and it's 100% merino wool. It's dead stock fabric. Like this is lovely, lovely. So this will be very nice as the dark layer I need as part of my capsule. And then I also bought a rib viscose knit in cream because they didn't have white. But now that I'm looking at it, it looks white. Yeah, it looks white enough. And it's got these ribs. Yeah, there we go. I got 1.5 uh, yards of that too. So that's going to be my white layer in my capsule. So I'm very happy that that is now here. Although I'm not going to sew any of this before the new year. But at least now it is here. Um, so yeah, I'm back. Like I said, Marianne is here. She is helping me with some Christmas gift prepping. She's trying to hide from the camera now. Um, so I'm going to finish sewing my muslin that I started yesterday. And she's going to help with some cricket stuff. And yeah, we'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit when I have something to show you. See you then. Hello. Well, it is uh, after 8 o'clock and I'm already in my pajamas because it's been a long day. But I did want to come on and say goodnight and not just cut the video abruptly. Um, I also wanted to show you what Marianne managed to get done in the little bit of time that she was here. So my sister and her husband are huge Yellowstone fans like the TV series Yellowstone. So Marianne made this today. I don't know if you're seeing this backwards, but anyways. And yeah, so this is gonna be for Paul, my sister's husband, and I'm making my sister a t-shirt, probably with something Yellowstone related onto it with heat transfer vinyl with the Cricut. So we got up to that today. I also finished my muslin for the top that I'm going to wear Christmas Eve that I don't want to show you. And fits perfectly. It's perfect. I made zero alterations. I made my usual size in that company's patterns and it fits like a glove. I am so happy. So I'm now going to cut into the good fabric and make my top. Marianne also helped me pin the hem of my ready-to-wear pants. So now they are ready to get done. So that's the job tonight before I go to bed. And that's pretty much the extent of the sewing I'm going to do or the thinking I'm going to do tonight. So I'm going to finish watching my hockey game. I'm going to hem my pants. I'm going to edit this video and upload it to YouTube for you all to see in the morning. And then I'm going to bed. So I'm going to leave it here. And I don't think you had a bear cameo today. Um, maybe you did this morning. I can't remember now. But anyways, he's fine if you have not seen him. And I will see you tomorrow for day 17 of Vlogmas. Bye.